Hey, what's up again? See Store Secrets. Go ahead and apologize. I'm a little, uh, I got a sinus infection or something going on here. So my voice isn't exactly what I would like for it to be. But guess what? It's still a great day. It's still a great day to be in the Sea Store industry. Um, to follow up to my previous video, you know, there are two reasons that any customer in the marketplace has to stop at your location. Uh, one, they have to get gas. I mean, when you're, when you're on E, your light's on, you, you gotta stop at the next store no matter what. And the other thing is was to use a restroom. Now, I don't care what happens, when someone's driving down the road and they've had their coffee, their water, their drink, whatever, at some point their body's gonna say, you gotta go to the bathroom. And at that point, when that urge is the strongest, they have to stop. And if they're passing your sea stool, that means that they are going to stop at your sea stool. Um, again, following up to, to the two reasons why every customer has to stop, the only two things that any customer needs when it comes to a sea stool. What brand is your restroom? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about the brand of your restroom? What that signifies? What it's what it tells your customers and, and I know that there's a lot of you out there that disagree that restrooms are important and like I said you know in the previous video uh, you know 10% of the C stores maybe less that it's not it isn't important uh, you're in a location that isn't getting uh, travelers isn't getting new travelers isn't getting new customers isn't getting vacationers isn't getting any of that stuff and that's okay this video is not for you but for the other 90 percent of C stores that is getting new customers periodically in and out of their store daily uh, you know whether you're located on a major highway an interstate a parkway whatever what brand is your restaurant Does, regardless of what you may believe about restrooms, whether you believe these things that I've been sharing in these videos or not, your restroom is getting branded just like your business has a culture, whether it's on accident or on purpose. Your restroom's brand is either on accident or it's on purpose. Um, while we were traveling um, on vacation, you know, that was one of the very first things that my mother-in-law and my wife would ask me. Where's the next exit where we can find a clean restroom? So they've already branded certain locations as having a clean restroom. And since I'm driving, since I'm driving, I know some of the brand gas stations that I can stop at that will have a clean branded restroom. And so at the end of the day, your restroom is going to either have a clean brand it's going to have a dirty brand. So it's either dirty or clean. It's that simple. And the people who are more likely to spend money, who are more likely to have higher register rings, who are more likely to grow your profits, they are going to care about that. They are going to care about the experience in your C-Store. They're going to care about customer service. They're going to care about quality of product. And so if you want to grow your business, if you want to grow your sales, then you need to know the answer to the question, what brand is your restaurants? And I want you to understand that, that it, you know, taking care of your restrooms and having the clean brand, which is the winning brand, um, it, it goes much deeper than simply my restrooms are clean. When you begin to focus on that one thing and master it, what happens is, is you can take that skill of setting up a system of checking on your restroom and making sure that it's clean and, and the customers are satisfied. You can take that to the next level and start using that same system to build other areas of your C store that will serve your customer. And, and at the end of the day, it's all going to come back to one thing. And I've talked about this in many videos and it keeps coming up and that's because it is the most important thing. That's customer service. What are you doing to make sure that every single thing you do within your C store is customer serving? Because until you get your mind and your heart set on taking care of every customer that comes in the door, as if that C store was your home, you can't go to the next level. You can't go to the next level of profit.
profit. You can't go to the next level as a, as a C store owner. You can't go to the next level where you're duplicating and becoming that next successful and massively large chain. Yeah, you can't do any of that until you master these systems and processes. And I know there's a lot of UC store owners out there that already have two, three, four, and five stores. And, and I've seen some of it. You have some of the worst restrooms and, and dirty stores in the marketplace. And so what you're doing is you're duplicating that dirtiness. Your customers talk. They're going to find out that you run these stores and they're going to take their business elsewhere. Because... They can find another store on the way to work. They can find another store on the way to the, where they're going that will serve their need. So, what brand is your restaurant? What brand do you want your restaurant to be? And that's the key. That's the goal. And until you understand that that one simple piece leads to you know, the promised land, to, to the, the land of Oz, um, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck with what you have. Um, I don't want that for you. Matter of fact, I have a system already that will allow you to take care of your entire store, including your restrooms. All you got to do is implement it and use it. I have the C Store Secrets checklist. It's out there. Um, I want to help you. I want to. I want to help you grow your business. That's why I'm here. Whether it be food service through Pivots Brands, whether it's just consulting, having a conversation, getting on the phone and talking. Um, if you'd like to get a copy of the C Store Secret book, if you'd like to get even the C Store Secrets checklist, uh, reach out to me. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, on all of them. You'll find me. My name's John McMillan. Uh, right now, I am shipping books and materials. Uh, all you got to do, reach out to me. Uh, I can send you a PayPal link. I can send you a Venmo request. Just give me your email address. I'll get these materials to you. They can change your business. You can change your business by shifting your focus. Shifting your focus to taking care of your customers. Making sure that customer experience is right which in turn controls your brand and make sure your brand is what you want it to be. What do you want your brand to be? Do you want to compete and look like the QTs and the Wawa's and the Speedways and the Five Stars and the Mapco's of the world? Do you want to have that brand image? You can. You can you can't compete in this space. You can't compete as an individual C-store owner. The question is, will you? And that is up to you. So, start today, decide what you want your brand to be, and go after it. If you need help, as always, reach out. I'll see you on the next video.